the beef and shoes and then the beef and the beef. No, we did not do this on purpose. <laughs> yeah. We did not do this on purpose, but we are, uh, it is a sea of Sith. Sea of no, Sith. It's Periods. Fri- so. It's Friday, Friday the 13th. The 13th. Well, look at this bullshit. I know. Yeah. Look. It's we did, a that's good not day. crazy. That's, that's why we wore bloody colors. That's right. And yeah. what the hell are you looking at? Jesus. <laughs> you are just in a fucking mood. He's in a mood. Yeah. This motherfucker comes in here late. No, late. no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> and then comes at me yeah. trying yeah. to flip the script. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you typical are... Christian. I am Kate Mulligan is here. Darina, Queen of Death, is also here. Uh, Mark Yodius, the Riliest, is here. Cody Hall, bouncing off the walls. And who do you got in there with you? Is Hey Alex here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Hey Alex. Good to see you, buddy. (laughs) Um, Don't even see you, but I know you're there. Anyway. How hungover are you guys? Not at all. Oh, you didn't go to the thing last no, night. No, how was it though? Was it oh, good? Oh, it was fantastic. Good. Uh, we're talking about Mark Ellis's comedy show at the Comedy Store. Mark Ellis crushed. Uh, can I heard Obviously. Benaya? Can Napsock crushed? Yeah. Why weren't you there? Huh? Let's let's get Mark Ellis on the well, phone. Well, he's yeah. doing. Listen, listen. He's doing. He's doing a bunch of these. So I'm sure you'll be on. Soon. Oh my God. Yeah. Josh McCuga popped in too, and he did it. He said, he, "Yes." Josh was at a wedding. And it was sold out. Crushed. Was it fans, friends, sold, countrymen? Sold out. And so when I showed up, of course we were late because we're always yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. And there were only two seats left. Guess where? Him. Front right row. in the front row. Right in the front row. Yeah. Did so, Ellis give you shit for it? No, no. thank God. I But I was like, oh, great. Here we go. Uh, 100 people? Th- there was about probably that? more. Yeah, yeah about that. It was the belly room? Matt, yeah. Nost, uh, Matt Nost was great as well. Yeah. He was the only one that, that kind of acknowledged oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he did not bomb. In fact, no, in fact sure his funny. first joke crushed. Yeah, no, like, Matt's he set funny. it up, and it was probably five minutes Good. of laughter. So who went? So Nost? Ken, Ken, Josh, Makuga, Ellis. Ellis, obviously. How long did Ellis uh, do? The normal half an hour or something? Yeah, about that. Okay. And uh, Justin show? Marino uh, hosted. Marino hosted. She, she was fantastic. She's good, man. I, I good love show. It. it was a great and show. Pop-ins? Any poppins? Any, any big poppins? Uh, Not last night. Uh, Josh. Josh was right, the poppin'. Yeah, I yeah, comedy show no, poppins. Okay. That's about it. That'll that'll change. Once 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 wind, you know how comedians are. Once once wind catches on that it's a popular show, you're going to start seeing a bunch he's of people He's going to do it in. more, right? Yeah, he's going to do it once a month. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, no, that's I, great. I, I was so sad I couldn't go, but um, I had con- yeah. concert tickets from months ago, which yeah. I saw explosions in the sky. Amazing! What did you I, see I cried. I never, I never cried. Explosions in the sky. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. They're like, they're, I think they're it was aliens a little muddled, right? because they're so good. Was, okay. Yeah. Anyways, you guys should check them out. They're yeah. amazing. Okay. All right. Good well, yeah. for you. Instrumental like experimental I, yeah, crap. I was gonna say, I, beautiful I, music. I actually, I know them from some, but like, I have a friend that's like a. Like, like a music in, nerd yes, like yeah. me. Yes, yeah. totally. You're yeah. full, it's you. You have a full therapist voice this morning. I like it. I um, let's just talk about how you felt about the concert and how you felt. Well, you know, I, I I felt that I I, I died for for a little bit there, okay, and, then I, no, no, and then, then I went to heaven, and then I went to heaven, but then they let's kicked me that. out. Let's unpack that. Let's unpack Why do you think they kicked me out of heaven when I died? Listen, oh, this is this is a beautiful song. Go with I it. am. Go with it. Oh my I just, God! I guess I want to know. I want to know how you. Ooh, that's great for you. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stop detracting from narcolepsy. We're just narcolepsy. gonna. Uh, so, talk to me about how you felt when you didn't get into heaven. And did no, it I bring did, up issues with your mother? I did get into heaven, but they oh, was immediately kicked out. Right. Okay, so they smelled your soul. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I was, it must be. It hard was actually that I wasn't no, because well. it, my uh, God was actually my mom, and then she kicked me out. Okay, so, so let's unpack that. <laughs> 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 Unpacking with Mulligan. <laughs> Oh Welcome God. back to the I didn't know so I had relaxing. a therapist voice on. No, you both right. have that like Coast 103.5 voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's her name? <laughs> the one yes, where what? you call and do the love song request? Oh, sex phone. Oh, what's that's your name? Right. No, that's you. No, that's me. Delilah. No. You're no. The there, was, there was a Delilah was woman. Was that? Yeah, she was like, you're online with, or you're on air with Delilah. Who can I give a really? shout out to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John about right sends there. his yeah. love to Darina. And yes. This is yes. your the inspiration. Oh, 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 that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you and I both drink coffee. Yeah. 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 It's just like, oh, wow, she just blew me. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, it's Friday, you guys. Of Friday. It's. it's uh, yes! yes! Hello. 
doing the Friday the 13th dance? We're all red. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Collider Live here, episode 218. Who the fuck knew we'd get this far? It right. is a, another show that we're wow. doing here on the uh, on the Collider Video uh, Network. And there's some shit going down. I don't know what it is, though, so I'll have to figure it out and find out exactly what the shit is. Okay. I know we t- we're going to give away some Rambo giveaways today. Rambo. Yeah. And what that is, it's New York. So only going to have people call in today. If you want to go check out the, Saul, I know well, it's, Saul. It's, it's somewhat a the Rambo premiere because Stallone's going to be there. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like a really cool screening that they're going to do with the Rambo hardcore fans. Uh, it's under embargo, I guess, because can can Ro, did Roka tweet out his thoughts or anything? Uh, I didn't see actually, but okay. yeah, Assuming who pays attention to that anyway? I yeah. blocked. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, what did I What did I do last night? I don't even know. I don't what know. did I do? I did something. Oh, I saw a movie. So at Astra, I saw that at three. Did, can Is you it, talk about it? I don't know. I have no idea if I'm allowed to talk about it, um, but I saw it, so that helps. <laughs> does the Does the title make That's... sense once you watch it? No, no, no. Yeah, you still don't know what that means. Uh, no, um, there's a lot of questions I have about the movie. Uh, I don't know if I what I can say. I guess there's a lot of critics stuff out there, right? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, there's a bunch out there. So if I get in trouble, I get in trouble. Uh, I like. I did like the movie. It's it's got a very kind of Kubrick. Feel to Ooh. it. There's, there's some stuff going on in that movie. I don't know why I'd stop myself from saying shit. There's some shit going down in that movie. Some shit! There's some shit going down in that movie. Um, but new things. There's like the way that space travel is kind of handled. It takes place in the future. There's some cool, I don't want to give it away, but there's some cool stuff that happens on the moon. That's really awesome. It's The directing was phenomenal. Who did it? Who directed it? Oh, don't ask me that. Same guy who did well, We Own the Night and um, isn't it James yes. Gray? <laughs> James Gray. That's exactly right. James Gray. So, uh, the, the performances are really good. Ruth Negga is in there for a little bit, but when she's in, she kind of pops off the screen. Brad Pitt, it's really his movie, obviously. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, Quite the cast. It's a good cast. Yeah. It's a really good cast. Uh, the story is very is still. Uh, I, it was myself and Roxy and Ben and Mance shows up at the end and we start talking about the ending. Mm-hmm. None of us knew what the hell was going oh, on. Oh, that sounds perfect for me. You'll love it <laughs> because, it, but but not not in a way that it's like, oh no, you're supposed to try to figure it out. It's like we. No, but, I know, but the, I like endings like endings. Yeah. Like, I like endings like that. Uh-huh. That you try. You, they, sometimes you go like, well, like you Inception. Try. Yeah, yeah. It's like, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, wait, but they said that this. Was the reason that this happened, but yet that happened because what? Oh, who cares? It looks pretty. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I will say this: there are, there are reviews out there because it, it premiered at uh, Venice Film Festival. Yeah, okay, so that's why it's no probably yeah. no more Barker. Yeah. So, so uh, well, we're way past that uh, yeah. at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I did. I thought the music was was beautiful. Um, I was. You don't know who did it? Who composed it? Not yet. I bet you already do. <laughs> no, not yet. No. no, but as I'm watching the movie, though, I'll tell you, I was engaged. It's and you have to realize that it's a it's a slow burn. It's a yeah. slow movie, and I like movies like that, um, especially in, in my favorite. Yeah, because it's like you know, there's some people like, well, what do you want? Explosions there in are, the sky. There are some explosions in yeah, this one, that's but why you watch Michael Bay movies. Yeah. yeah, that's not that's not this movie. This yeah. movie is it's it's very cerebral. It's it's uh, again without giving away. I you by the end of it, I was like, oh, that's what this movie's about. You get okay. that? It's just the overall story. You're like, oh. I don't know if I, like, who said it? I think Roxy said it. She's like, I loved the movie. I just didn't love the story. You know, okay. I didn't like. That. I wish it would have been a different story inside of this oh, movie. Oh, I see. I it just it was just like a well-made film with a story. That yeah, wasn't I don't. Know, I don't necessarily agree with that. F- like a hundred percent. Um, there are certainly things about the story that I wish would have been a little more, more clear. But like, there's an opening scene that's really amazing. It's a. Uh, I dug it though. I definitely dug it. Did you guys see an Annihilation last year? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So I loved it. Okay. I did too. Uh, but so so I'm wondering if it's more like that, like, no, the, no, like no, or no. like Moon. No, you no, know, no, like no. I love those movies that are very no. Annihilation. I understand what they were going for okay. in the ending. I just didn't like the ending. That's and that's where that came down to. You either love the ending of right, that movie right, right. or you don't. That's not this. Okay. There's like a pure like after you see it, I'll, I will say. But but they said that in the beginning that that person was going to do that, but. Then they did, did did something, but they did that instead. Like what? Wait, the rules are kind of out the window. Like, what? Why are they there? Why are they not there? Well, I haven't seen it, but I disagree with you. And you normally know, that's, that's like this way all over again. That was, that was my favorite. And still, and people still said mccoke has got a dong take on that one. I was like, but, but, but Doreen's the one who just said that she she didn't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we were both like we haven't seen it. We just yeah. think this, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah. But this is discussion, Jeez. opinion, yes, sharing. Huh? Yeah. I liked the ad for the. I saw the um, one sheet for that. I like the, the ad for Ad Astra? Yeah. Oh, oh the Ad Astra ad. Stupid <laughs> oh, fucking I... water bottle. Um, 
<laughs> Wipe the so let's today. talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's Why unpack. do you feel? <laughs> Don't ever touch cold, me again. Cold hands. You have, you have cooties now. Cold hands. <laughs> call HR! Call HR! We don't have HR. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, that was I just, I was going to say, I like that they let Brad Pitt look old in the one sheet. They did. And, and I looked, love yeah. that. I feel like that's very, you don't see that with the actresses a lot. They usually make them look beautiful. But I was like, ah, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, and he's still, you're still like. Well, especially because now they're CGing people's faces. Face, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Out of. And yes. that's, no, no. He, yeah. they, they it's like, him, it's they they some actors' look. contracts, too, which yeah. I think is, I mean, I get, do what you want. But yes. I yeah, think yeah. it's weird. No, he was we good. all are going to look wrinkly well, and it's okay. Well, Tommy Lee Jones is in the movie also. And uh, he doesn't know he's in it. He's just yelling at people. Um, <laughs> but I just, it's so How many times did he say, I don't care? I don't Not, care. His attitude, his attitude did. Yeah. His attitude did. And it's, it's, it's in what, the eyes. There's a, there's a part in the movie when I'm watching him talk and I'm going, this is him in every junket. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh yeah. You're watching him and you're just like, this is who this man, like, this yeah. is who he is. He must be having so much fun because he's not acting right now. <laughs> he's just, he, he, what does he say that I was just like, oh yeah, that's true. He's like, not once did I think about them. I don't want to be home or whatever he said. It was like I feel like I could see him saying that, and I think they like, just that caught was him. an ad lib. I think yeah. they caught him candidly, like a video camera off to the side, <laughs> yeah. and then just use that, use They're that. Like, it's just all B roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but anyway, like the movie. Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. good for you. I, that whole thing. I, so, like, I still don't like that. I don't that, either, that but released. I like that sound bite. Of course, so it's great. Sound oh, bite. good for you. Speaking of Thanks. sound bites, do I have a clip for you guys? I heard. So, you didn't watch it though, right? No. Okay, no. good. So, and if you Cody, don't don't even look yet, guys, because I want I want Cody to bring this up, um, but don't show the title of the screen. Just do it with a wide screen, and then we can get into yeah. Just go to the, go to the beginning of this, and and then we can hit play, guys. If you cannot look at the top of the screen here, because I don't want you to see the title. All right, here you go. Hey guys, I'm Jeff go ahead. Go ahead. Riley, look. First, we gave you cactus hand grab. Oh my god. Now I present oh no. to you cactus body slam. Oh, you. No, 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 watch, no, no, watch, no, 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 no. He just punched the cactus. He's on the top of the cactus. And no! Into the cactus! Listen, listen, listen. Oh! Fuck! Pull my legs over! Fucking pull my legs over! Crazy. Ah, help me now! Help me now! You dummy! Bust his back. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck! He deserves it. Yeah, of course he does. Idiot. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> to the back of his head! To the back of his head! He's got needles in the back of his head. In his asshole. Look at this. There's oh, needles in his asshole. Oh, God, oh my God, he's bleeding. Sick. Of course he's bleeding. Look, he's a fucking... The cactus like oh, dummy. Oh, shit. Well, what did you expect? You, you know what I want this to be right now? Oh, wow. Sliced him up. Sorry, sorry. They're all like this. Oh, look at that. No! Oh, right oh, in his body. Straight through the hand and thing. Oh, get that out of here. It didn't even help. It sliced open his hand through the boxing glove. Oh. Ah! Oh, Get Why? the fuck out of here. You know what I want this to be, though? The reveal. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right now. All right, you can turn that off now. Uh, that's great. <laughs> oh. That was holding blood oh, in. I, yeah. just, oh. I just puked a little say? bit in my mouth. There you go. Uh, it fucking hurts, man. It's not. What? I mean, it's what's not. wrong with you? Dude. Oh. Right? So fans sent me that this morning. <laughs> yes, Cody pulled the sound. Was, yes. was, My favorite was, response ever. So I send this to Cody this morning. People are gonna think it's Makuya watching a scary movie. Yeah, yeah. I sent I sent to Cody this morning. This is our text exchange. Was I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna need you to pull this clip and uh, and pull sound bites, please. And to which he responds, Where do you find this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> also, you just sounded like the boss in Office Space. Did I? I'm yeah, gonna I'm need you to. Uh, but download you know what I want that to be though. I, it's that's yeah, the screen. Yeah. It's that the high yeah. pitch. We, yeah, that's, this, this is the kind of stuff that I know Cody gets a kick out of <laughs> pulling, so I knew he would have a fun what, with that. What an idiot. Cody, was that like a piece of gold I handed you this morning? Dude, I got like 10 or 11 of these. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. So I knew it. I knew when I said it to Cody, he was going to be so happy. He was going to have this big <laughs> smile on his face. Mm. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> so what I think that this should be is the opening to a Pixar film, <laughs> and the, it's about the cactus. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, and, and, just and it opens up like this. Cactus. Well, then the cactus goes. This happens once a week. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's just Seriously. about the cactus. And I get such a bad rap. I get a bad rap, and I was merely defending myself against 
an idiot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just standing <laughs> there minding my own business. <laughs> oh, my God. It's really good. Isn't that amazing? I mean, if I was a plant, that's what I would want to yeah. be. Um, the other thing I'd love you to look at, Cody. Thank you, Cody. Uh, Thrawn. Can we bring up Thrawn's channel? Because remember, we, we heard that Thrawn had a new song, but yeah. we listened to it yesterday. We haven't heard it. So I don't it. know what that song is. So we can, we can yeah. reveal it. I don't even remember today. last time we heard a Thrawn song. No, I don't it's know. been a while. Yeah, one of the callers revealed to us yesterday that there's a Thrawn song. Thrawn did the, the one song for our roundtable episode. Oh, that's remember? right. When we did your. We were your talking podcast. about death. Yeah. That's right. And he and just he, played this music. There's Fart Tower. All right, that's that's the one. And so yeah. let's hear this is Fart Tower by Thrawn. Oh. Johnny Jump Band and the Assholes. Fart Island. Tower. Yeah, Fart Tower. What? What? Party at the Fart Tower. Party at the Fart Tower. Party at the Fart Tower. <laughs> Party at the Fart Tower. 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 Do do it's Party at the Fart Tower. I love this. I mean, this is catchy. This is catchy. Yeah. You know what? Uh, that is, one, one, one more time. That is, <laughs> that is a, I, I, the dumbest, greatest I, I song. It. It's really great. Fart Tower. Yeah, Fart Tower. <laughs> Party at the Fart Tower. 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 Don't do it. Party at the Fart Tower. Party at the Fart Tower. Party at the Fart Tower. Who's doing farts in the Fart Tower? That's a good harmony. Me too. Who's doing farts at the Fart Tower? Fart Tower. This is this is now going to be my. Oh, this just said Helen yeah. Mirren going to be on the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say. This is why. Yeah. We're gonna, this is why actors and directors come to our show, guys. Right, yeah. Serious. Yeah. And speaking of which, Jai Cordy crushed yesterday. That He's motherfucker so is huge. Yes, he is. He is huge. He, yes. he walked He's, in when I when I greeted him. I was like, I'm Courtney. like, what the hell, dude? He's yeah. like, yeah, he I've was been like walking a, out. Real life superhero. Yep. Yeah. 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 I was like, I wish he would have like thrown me somewhere. You should have asked. Yeah. Probably would have done it. Yeah. Um, seriously. Anyway, so party at the Far Tower, everybody. I would just, I just picture somebody like doing their dishes to that song. Yeah. You know. Who's <laughs> doing fart? Good job, Thrawn. Thrawn, that was that was crushing. And that, that was so, like, do you tower. think we're gonna be this dumb when we're until we're eighty? Yes. Yeah. Probably, right? Yeah. 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 That's when, it. When we're just going to laugh at farts. Like, Because yeah. we all have that dumb teenage humor. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll test I don't want to be smart. Yeah, we're, all singing, we're all singing that song by the end. And I wanna, I'm going to play That's our new chicken and beer. That's going to bring yeah. that. Sweet. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm going to see my dad this weekend. I'm going to play him this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see how he, how he goes. Because <laughs> I think he'll like it. And then you should be like, Dad, are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? This is my job. I produce this every day. That's going to confuse him even more because he's already confused. You know what's great about that? I don't even remember doing that with Makuga. I don't either. I don't. Either. I don't remember what I did this morning. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You don't know. You, know, you smoke. Good for you. Um, <laughs> I don't smoke. You don't. Since when? Edibles. I don't. Oh, smoke you at eat all. it. You eat this stuff. I uh, love eating. Good for you. I love Cody, eating. how's your? Uh, it's very important. How, how's the How's the kid treating you? you oh, you he did not sleep no. last night. I'm with you. Again. It was a rough night. I'm rough with you, night. dude. I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. I Does had the same thing. Does that affect you or does that affect your wife? Mostly Both. Her. Oh, okay. Mostly her. Yeah. yeah. That must but be. I so I guess what I would say is I don't want to hear you talk about it. <laughs> the question was asked. Yeah, I know. Question was you, asked. Yeah. So next time, try try this answer. My poor wife Never didn't know. get to sleep last night. Well, you guys. Okay. Well, your wives need to teach my wife something then because I'm still getting up with this fucking two year old. <laughs> oh yeah, I I'm yeah. on. Uh, that's like I actually that's like the sort of thing I'm yeah. not very female forward in that regard. Yeah. I'm like, if I've got the tits that are going to nurse it, yeah. I'm like, you need to function tomorrow? Yeah. I got this. See? Yeah. Interesting. Right. Right. Gonna, okay. Yeah, but you it probably depends on people's lifestyles. It does depend yeah, it on does. people's yeah. lifestyles, because also... My husband's married to a nobody that doesn't work. So what the hell is this fart tower? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so 
like, if there's a woman Who's that has to get up and work, right. then she well, I definitely think needs you're to sleep. Somebody well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you um, speaking of which, look, and this is another thing I always like to give uh, l- little announcements on, on these shows. One of the things that we talked about on the Schmo Down uh, announcement network thing is that we're going to be doing a full on kind of comedy tour with uh, mm-hmm. both myself and Mark Ellis and Brett Sheridan, um, Cook, uh, Jay Washington. K Mulligan will also be part of that. Yay! Yay! Know that like, you'll be able to see you know, where, where it's coming. Here it is. Yeah. Where's it going? And I, at, the, at the end of it, I go, "Oh yeah, we talked about it, but I decided yeah, against it." Yeah, we decided it. against, against it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I, right. I want to see you do stand up. I've never seen either of you do stand up. Well, there yeah, you, you guys had a, that at Comic Con. You had a thing that night. A dumb thing, yeah. Yeah. Should have gone right. to your thing. Yeah. Yeah. What Listen, dumb thing? I don't know. You don't remember? I was actually going to get that set no? for Mark. Um, it was Thursday night. Yeah. We had like three, three we events. Had. Probably did something. Had a um, party or something. Fa- that's, that's fun. Fandom, IGN, yeah, all the we things. went to a party. Yes, yeah. that's and exactly free food what and drinks. We went to yeah. a party at the yeah. Nerd Fart Tower. The Nerd Fart Tower. <laughs> <laughs> so who's going to the Nerd Fart Tower? <laughs> I'm just playing it in my head right now. <laughs> really? yeah. You guys are talking. I'm like, that's fine. What's, yeah. what, what's, fart tower. what's catchier, the Fart Tower song or the or, uh, Where's Rodney? Oh, you have heard this. Where's play, Rodney? Because it's, it's play like the Where's Rodney theme for Kate, please. And, and let's yeah. yeah. hey, here, here, and here you go. Let's, here, listen to all of it. It already. Mar- no question. It's this one. <laughs> yeah. My old man took me to the zoo. They thank her for returning me. Now last week I looked up my family and tried to dogs were using it. Oh, where, good. yeah, this it's good, huh? Yeah, it's really Where's good. Where's Rod? That's yeah. it. This is it. All right. I miss songs. I also like anything that starts and you think it might be the 1986 Transformers. Oh, that's, yeah. that's oh. good. I like what you're doing yeah. there. Well, like you're talking about like doing. Stan Bush or Stan Bush? Stan Bush. Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. You, you remember? You'll remember this because you were there, uh, not in the room, but you were you were in when I was doing the joke about. You probably at the time because you started getting into that movie because of your son, right? Yes, yes, yes. So. Uh, dare you can keep you all know, your. That's the song that when I talked about that experience that I had with the woman when things were going on in the, and that song, a random song came on. Oh in the my middle god, of it. it was not that. It song. was dare. No, it wasn't. It was dare. I, t- oh I tell a very. I tell this. That joke used to crush. I'm gonna bring it back. Oh my god. Also, my husband thought that when he was a kid, he thought that the words were jet. You go to that. No, it's definitely like, that. Like definitely jet dare. and dare don't it's sound anything like each all other. All I remember is something is wrong with you. I remember sir. just go, just go, just go. Yeah, it'll be. It'll be over soon. Just each one of those. Yeah, let it go to the chorus. And she's like, what the fuck is this? And ruined the whole experience. <laughs> um, Stan Bush, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Stan Bush actually performed at Comic Con during the Bumblebee. I heard yeah. that. You got I was the sad touch. I you, played, that. you got the touch. Oh my so God. good. Um, it's a great song. All right, let's get into some movie news. Ooh, movie okay. News. What's let the me... next story on the agenda? <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Cody. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. No. Uh, let me. I add. forgot about that, by the way. Riley, remember that? The news. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I did too. And yeah. obviously, I forgot how to breathe. Uh, all right, where do you want to start? Uh, th- let's do this. J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot closes their mega deal, five hundred million with Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers yeah. movies, TV series, no, comics. Is Warner Brothers involved in the Apple thing? No, he turned down the Apple. So, but he's still doing a show with Apple. What I about believe the poop so. Apple? No, remember because he, he, they they announced yesterday that whenever they were talking about the programming on the Apple thing is that he, one of his shows is gone. So maybe that was just like a one time thing. Yeah, I mean, it did, much like he can, I guess he can do. You know, Sorry. obviously direct a Star Wars movie and then go back. God damn. I guess he can license it out. But his his home is now officially Warner Brothers. There's a big article on Collider.com that's like explains this. Uh, and why he turned down Apple, but because it wasn't five hundred million dollars, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's come on. Yeah, jeez, that's it. That's it. Five hundred million, that's and uh, a lot of people though are funny enough bringing up his Superman movie, like, oh yeah, he's gonna do Superman now. But you remember that Superman movie that he wrote, right? No. Yeah, What's I remember. This about? Yeah, the, well, so the ending of the movie, it, uh, the script itself, people give it a lot of shit, mm-hmm. rightfully so, with the ending. But the script itself is really fucking good up until the ending when Lex Luthor turns out to be a Kryptonian and flies off into the sky. Yeah. Which also, is uh, Krypton never blew up. Right. Right. Which yeah. is the whole basis of why Superman's here in the first place. A little uh, bit. So yeah. those two things. But yeah. was it like an actual? They were trying to retell the story, or, or were they Kevin trying Smith. to do more like a Red Sun type deal? It was different than Kevin Smith's version. Oh, it was? Yeah, Kevin Smith did, um, you know, the death of Superman. Oh, right. Uh, but yeah, J.J. was kind of reinventing everything. Okay. Um, and it was called Flyby. Ah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked a lot of it, but then, yeah, the it's weird. 
it just didn't work for me as a Superman purist, I guess. Didn't but. work for you, dog? Didn't work for me, dog. Mm, fine. Mm. Uh, so anyway, he's got a five hundred million dollar deal, and I'm still trying to figure out how to pay my rent. All right, what's yeah, the same? <laughs> what's the next story on the agenda? <laughs> I love that. Uh, Paul Feig has Heard now. Yes, he is now making a monster movie Ooh, over at Universal. See a simple yeah. favor. Ooh, yes, it's so did good. You, you it's thought so? really I good. I liked it. You didn't like it? Which one? Were you not a fan? Simple favor. I wasn't a fan. What's that? Did you see it? Oh, this one. Anna, 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 Anna Kendrick. I no. felt like oh. it was a poor Anna man's. Anna yeah. Oh, I like simple Anna. favor with, with, with Blake. Uh, the Blake Lively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I liked. I liked. You didn't that. like the suits in that movie? No, no. I felt like it was a poor man's. Wild things. Definitely not. No, I felt like it was the. Pee Wee's Playhouse. The, 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 the one no, that was no. the book, The Girl on the Train. Um, oh, uh, Zoobly uh, Zoo. Zoobly Zoo. Right. No. There was the. Party in the Fart Tower. No? Party, Party in the Fart Tower. <laughs> Which one? Rocking. The Girl on a Train? Girl on a Train. But no, there was the other. There was another movie that was like the. Um, yeah, that Ben Affleck was in. The Wife was Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Gone Girl. I Great felt soundtrack. Like was, I felt like it was. <laughs> So I felt like it was a poor man's Gone Girl. Oh. Uh, I was like nothing about I, it. I don't know. I just felt like it was, was more like, comedy Feig, slash like, like dark comedy. Yeah, was I, I, thought, what I felt like I dug- Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick was next She's level. Yeah, I thought Blake Lively did the best acting of her Blake, career. Yes, yeah. Blake Lively yeah. was awesome. Yeah. They were right. incredible. In you it. just didn't like the story. I just felt like uh, yeah. uh, right. I don't know. Let's yeah. unpack that, Kate. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what issues? Did you have a twin sister? Yeah, I had it, and I just sometimes imagine for. I just imagine that I, I pretend to be dead and then I don't have to take care of my kids anymore. <laughs> so it really hit home. <laughs> you know? Okay, we're going to have to put a pin in that. Right. Okay. Um, um, we are, we're we dropping you as a, as a client. <laughs> and, uh... Just open up to us, Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's back to sex talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's... Uh, so anyway, so, so Paul, it, Cody, okay. I love that you, you're always going to play that Explosions in the Sky song now when yeah. we get into Collider, yeah. uh, collider Ther- Therapy. Is that what it yeah. is? It's collider Therapy. Yeah. Paul, so we're going to get flags for that, basically? Possibly. I don't I'm know. over it. Oh, all right. Thank you so much, Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul Paul Feig is Paul, a great. He's a great director. He's uh, a great director. I don't give a shit about these monster movies anymore because they're not working. Okay, so they're let me tell you. But this he is an original idea. I know. I know. I, I, and that's probably why I, I will see all of them because I'm always rooting for them. Right. But they're just they're not doing them right because they, cause you and I talked about this last time. Stop focusing so much on the fucking I just want to see the monster spike. Yes, stop focusing so much on the on humans. People. Because they don't think that we can say, oh, you'll get bored with it. You'll get, but the same thing, reason why I couldn't stand the Transformers movies. They focus too much on the stupid humans. And it's like, let's focus on the, the, either the monsters or the robots. Guess who did that very well? Planet of the Apes movies. Yeah. They focused on the apes and it worked and it was a great movie. Focus Are on the monsters. Are you calling the apes monsters? No, but that's not a monster movie. <laughs> but well, I love those, to, I love those movies. Right, 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 like, the, let me read the yeah, news. Let, like, let yeah. me just give you the fucking plot of the movie. <laughs> and you can decide then. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> thank you. Paul Feig is you going to yourself. create his own monsters, okay? Oh, and man. they're going to fight the Universal Original Monsters. Okay. So we're going to get a lot of monsters in this thing. It's called Dark Army. And by OG, you mean... OG, like, like Dracula, Invisible Wolfman, Man, yeah. Invisible okay. Man, Swamp uh, Monster. What they were t- going to try to do before, basically. Right. This is a I whole new idea. I in, like, the Muppet Workshop, like, gluing eyeballs. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. he's going to make his own monsters. I and, like, hope so. Just, like, gluing God, that eyeballs. sounds like But I would, ra- I would much rather them actually do that yeah. than the practical same... Practical effects? Yes, because yes. the same CGI... Mo- practical effects mixed with CGI. Mm-hmm. Because that's, that's what they do. And that's what... Don't be fooled by the fact when people say practical effects now. There's always CGI involved one way or another but when it just looks like the same shit like the same aliens and the same stuff that they make over and over again because they think the, the computers yeah. it's yeah that bug fucking aliens all the time mm-hmm. and it's like let's make those original like you know what great looking monsters was, was Bram Stoker's uh, Coppola's Dracula mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm. like the, the way that Dracula looked is a big scary bat like that kind of shit yeah. like that's creepy but as that was scary, but that was scary too because of uh, this, not just the cinematography but how they use lighting oh, with right, practical yeah. effects right. right like that that's the stuff I miss it's yeah. like the more like Hitchcockian type deal than just being like here is a real you know a cool CG looking monster that our artists 200 work, million that, dollars which and they our, overpack it artists CGI. work really hard on I it know. and they're and they're really talented but it's like they don't let them be as creative I feel like it's it just you, oh. you lose something, and yeah. it's the so same hopefully reason, this does it. Yes, that's I'm hoping for it. Yeah. The same reason why I'm nervous about the new Terminator. I wanted Terminator to go back to basics, yeah. 1984 style, make it look like a low budget, independent film. Or, nope, we get or, a new Terminator, a new, new, new Terminator, new, new, new. and they split, and they split, and they can turn, and they get liquid fucking shit 
farts. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think too of just though. original yeah. monster designs that look cool, and like uh, the, you know what H.R. Giger gave us with Al- with the Xenomorph, oh, yeah. right, for the Alien franchise, and that's kind of what I'm missing. It's like we haven't. I'm trying to think of when that's happened, mm-hmm. uh, you know, recently where we've gotten these like amazing original designs of of creatures that we haven't seen because right. yeah. it's usually the the spiders or the bugs. Well, they wanted to put right. more money in it, more money in it. That's because if you're, if they're putting two hundred million dollars into these big budget movies, like, oh no, bigger, bigger, better, better. It's like you'll make so much more money if you just make the damn thing like pure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. I wonder if we'll get anything like that in Dune, Riley. What's yeah. going on with Dune? They pushed it back, right? About a month. Oh, okay. It's only a month. Yeah. All right. Well, don't look bad. at me like I'm an asshole. I'm sorry about <laughs> it. For Jesus. No. Only a month. Only a month. Just a month. Take it easy. Dumb piece of shit. Take it easy. You idiot! You dumb dick! My guy. Read some fucking news. Um, <laughs> click right. a link. Any click a link. Click um, a link. It's a good shirt. Uh, yeah, so the last bit of news, oh, a, you want to move a on? Quote here. There's a quote here from Paul Feig that says, I don't give a shit what Christian says. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I know, it was weird. Ow. It just popped up. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. We I'm should really, have him on the show. <laughs> I've had him, we've had him on Schmoes. I'm, I'm a really big fan of Paul Feig. He's him. the nicest guy. I think I got he's to a interview sweetheart. Him I, I, oh, I think yeah. he's one of the more talented guys out there. It has nothing to do with him. He's the reason why I probably would go and see yeah. this movie, because yeah. I, with the hope, I'm just over monster movies at this point. And no. I think he probably knows that a lot of people are over it, and it's him, it's on him to say, no, 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 come watch this one. I'm a Paul Feig fan. I think Universal's aware of this. Who is going like Universal to hire Paul Feig? That's that's outside. Yeah. That's outside the box. To do this, yeah. it really is. Well, he's a very talented dude. He doesn't. He's not just. You, yeah, you think he's, it, he does more than just comedies. He's he's a yeah. very talented filmmaker, writer. So like I, I I'm I'm on board for the the who they hired. It's just m- monsters again. I don't know. I love monsters. They if just it's haven't done, been. If it isn't done well. It's good. Yeah. Not done well. Like that. Did you feel like the Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and love Game of Thrones? You felt like they dealt with the monsters yes. well in those. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, yeah. I like the, that's and that's more like fantasy. No, I know, but me, I'm just but saying but like that the creature because yeah. a lot of that with like the Dementors to me. Oh, creep, so, creep. so, so great. great. So scary. Yeah. Really and that, cool. You know, that's someone who I would be and down to watch do monster movies. Alfonso Cuarón. Oh, oh yeah. God, yeah. I would die. That's awesome. That's That's who brought in the Dementors. I wish he would. Uh, he's not going to do it, but if they Star rebooted oh. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, I want that. Could you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? That's great. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 I'm like, oh, you, got I little ner- you got a little nerd boner over there? Yeah, yeah. nerd boner. Me too. Yeah. Hey, Steph's like, like little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sure, We're sure, telling dick sure. jokes. Okay, uh, let's party at the dick tower. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to that one. Let's let's yeah. let's, let's move You're on. You're missing out. See you there. All right, let's, let's the next story on the agenda. We let's it almost, It's almost got like a Dexter feel to it. That that clip. It's like Dexter mixed with the Mad Hatter. The story on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way he talks like, what's the next story on? That's kind of how we, Dexter yeah. would do it. Except, but all of a sudden I went like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my good a mustard. mustard. <laughs> let's yeah. not get silly. Lemon, yeah. that's different. I'm like, what's next? <laughs> Uncle get the mouth! Get the mouth! Uncle Albert and Mary Poppins. <gasps> yes, that's, my children. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's same a guy. Yeah, right? yeah. Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah. he, he does the Welcome voice. back to Collider Live. I just shit myself. <laughs> What's the next story on the agenda? <laughs> <laughs> Helen Mirren's never coming on the show. Yeah. No. <laughs> we had her booked. We had her booked today. Yeah. But she's gone. She's done. Yeah. She, yeah. she was in the green room and she said, <laughs> fuck this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I'm not yeah. doing this. <laughs> what if she? What if Helen Mirren <laughs> likes favorite. fart jokes? It really is my favorite when they do that. <laughs> Alex just put in Helen Mirren's phone number in the, in the Google search. <laughs> All right. Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, you're on Clara Live. Who do we got? No. Aww. You know what? Hello, because- Helen Mirren. Oh, nice. Good Hello. Stuff. Yes. Uh-huh. How are you doing? I'm calling to tell you I'm absolutely disgusted. <laughs> well, Helen, I have I have something for you. Though. Yes. Uh-huh. This is something I've been wanting to do. Just bear with us for yes. five minutes to stay on the show sure, because sure. I did bring someone in from your neck of the woods. All right. Uh, Dobby is here. La- ladies okay. and gentlemen, Dobby. This Dobby. is No, no, no I'm serious. He, sh- he showed up. He showed up. A- oh, ask him a question. He's, he's in the booth. Uh, Dobby, what, how do you take your tea? Well, Dobby's confused because Dobby told you to lose this number, and you keep calling Dobby. But, yeah, but here I am. But Dobby, we have uh, we have uh, the, the the lovely the, the royal uh, Helen Mirren. This here. is oh, yes, really royalty. beneath me. Uh, so, Dobby, would you like to ask Helen Mirren a question? Mirren. So I said. Mirren. Uh, uh, you're breaking up. <laughs> you don't want to ask. You don't want you, uh, Dobby. Dobby's for very all. Very intimidated by the royal Helen. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well done, children. Um, all right. Um, I'll help you out, Cody. What's the next story on the agenda? Perfect. Let's hit our main topic here. We got another Game of Thrones prequel that is uh, nearing a pilot order, and it's based. So this is different. It's different, mm-hmm. and it's based on the book Fire and Blood, and it's all about it's set f- about 500 years before the events of uh, Game of Thrones. Focusing on House Targaryen. I think that's smart. Yep. I think that's smart. They, they've, they've almost become like the like the Skywalkers of the uh, yeah. of the house. Naomi Watts. Yeah, that's the pilot that's going right now. Oh. Yeah, and that so, takes place five thousand years. Yeah. Jane Goldman Stardust. Well, oh, that's cool. Yeah. This, that's, says, this one actually says the story is take place three hundred years. Oh, before. Three hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred years off. So it would chart the beginning of the end of the reign of House Targaryen. I love that. I mean, look, this is this is smart but stuff. But it so wouldn't be the Mad King wouldn't be in this one. No. No, because it's way no, too it's far. No, it's way way before. Yeah. But this is uh, a. That's this, what I want to see. This is good yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is good stuff. This is the one that like when Ken heard about this news, he lost his. He's like, this is the one. So a little that nerd guy, boner he too. got a nerd mm-hmm. boner, yeah, because right. he said this book, uh, Fire and Blood. He read it, and it's it's a little bit more to the point. Gives a great history, and he, one of his favorite books in the yeah. series. This is very smart by HBO. Obviously, it's like it's yeah. like you have to, you have to grab this while it's still hot. Mm-hmm. People want to see, you know, who's do we know who's show running? Yeah, it's Brian Cogman. Uh, he was one of the. I'm trying to find. I remember. I can't. I, I can't find it here. But he's writing the pilot with George R. R. Martin. Oh, great! Oh, wow. okay. So, so there he is. So Brian uh, Cogman's Cogman. an American television writer and producer. He is known for writing eleven episodes of the HBO series Game of Thrones. Okay, so he's he's very involved. Hopefully, those Game eleven weren't the last. Yeah. It also yeah. says like right here, um, yeah. Brian Cogman also does not give a shit what Christian Harlow thinks. That's, yeah. that, you're going to find that on most people's yeah. uh, <laughs> stuff. You know, there's only one person that does care apparently and is a huge fan, and that's Igla. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eagle probably hates my guts too. Um, no. All right, so yeah. let's let's get to the phones. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Actually, before we do that, because this, we didn't really cover too much in this Game of Thrones thing, we probably should do that a little bit more. But this is uh, you did not like the last season. No, I love I love the the Battle of Winterfell. But, but you're a book no. fan. You read no, the book. You didn't read the books. I, okay. I was a huge Game of uh, uh, Lord of the Rings book yes. person. Yes. Those, but, that not, was, but not the books. Yes. But not the, I didn't. I didn't. Manage. Okay, but no. so you just, you just so but you just straight up just like like the series. You just didn't, didn't like the ending. Thought it was a little too what uh, too crammed. Yes, you know? it mm-hmm. felt hurried. It felt like there mm-hmm. wasn't resolution. It was like, and I'm I know that they consulted with George R. R. Martin about where he was going, but like the brand thing still mm-hmm. baffles me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I just it's an execution for me. I think it's yeah. a, it was a beautifully uh, looking, sh- it's a beautiful yes, looking show, absolutely, and uh, and I appreciate it for the production value. But the story, I was like, mm, yeah, it right. I liked it. it right. I, I didn't mind it. I the um, I was kind of. I, I love the fight between the hound and the mountain. That's one of my favorites. Oh, I, I love oh yeah. That. Uh, but the there hound. was there was some stuff that I definitely thought was rushed. For sure, and I didn't. I didn't like the ending, the the, the way it all ended out. Probably what you just were talking yeah. about. But um, I am very, very intrigued to find out this stuff, the past. This actually, I'm more excited about the 300 years before as yeah. opposed to the to the 5,000 years yeah. before. Yeah. Um, but that's not to say that they both can't be super exciting. I I think that that's uh. So look at look at this shit. Hold on. HBO has been fairly conservative in capitalizing on the success of Game of Thrones in that the show's wake and with Warner Media streaming service HBO Max in need of content, it makes sense that additional Thrones sp- spin-offs would be ordered. This is another battle towards uh, Disney Plus, I guess. Yeah. Thrones showrunners David Benioff and DB Weiss declined to be involved in further shows. Oh wow, I didn't know that. And recently jumped from HBO to Netflix for an insane deal worth a reported 200 million dollars. Okay, well, yeah. there you go. Benioff wow. and Weiss decide. I didn't realize that they said no, 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 no. Well, they got a lot of crap going on. So. Yeah. Well, um, they also got a lot of crap from the fans. They probably said, "Fuck this." Yeah, yeah. that's true. Could be. Yeah. But do you think it's it's a uh, and th- I think this is what happened with Game of Thrones and it happens with other shows that they should just have when they're announcing a new show. I would hope that they would just have like a set of uh, seasons and then they're done and that way they have a, a storyline that they're going to end. Channel and I think that's why certain shows end up being messy that start out really well. They don't have an ending Lost. planned yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Well, they don't have an ending exactly. planned out. Like I. Love, like that's always they know where it's gonna go. Like uh, what's his face? Uh, Vince Gilligan. Uh, he he, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Bad. he yeah. knew and he, the X Files perfectly. He, but he knew, he knew where it was gonna go. He knew yeah. where he yeah. wanted to go. And he knew he had it pretty, pretty mapped out. And it it you could tell. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. This, uh, you know, Flawless. Yes. And if they stick to the book here and they they don't do what the Hobbit did. Right. Hobbit Ugh. Hobbit should have been one, mm-hmm. maybe two, maybe, yeah. but one movie. Three was 
Why? Three, three was why, I mean, bad. We know why. And yeah. It's trying to capitalize well, yeah, off the money, but it's just, it was pretty dumb because you could tell that they were just, and they were, each one was like two and a half hours. Or I two can't hours. believe it. It was, no, I know. It, it was, you could tell it. It was just so stretched out and it was like, come on. Like they showed all of the breakfasts that he eats. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. really, seriously. <laughs> and where did you buy your shoes? Uh, well, I could tell you, but let's show. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, well, and, and we're going to watch him make the shoelaces. Uh, yeah, okay, look, and here's my dog pooping. Yeah, here's yeah. a 30 minute <laughs> sequence of dwarves washing dishes. Right. Yeah. yeah, that whole, they, they put a fucking musical in the beginning, for God's yeah. sakes. That would like, be good. They did. Oh, it was a well, they, they did. Yes, they did. did. Yeah. Nobody, it out? Maybe. When they're all singing around. Oh, but it wasn't a musical. And, oh, no, musical. but it felt like one. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, they should make a Hobbit musical and then I'd watch that. That yeah. sounds great. Uh, Second breakfast. Uh, 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 Second I, I, would, breakfast. I would like to bring back uh, Helen Mirren. This is Gary Busey. Uh, uh, I want to know if you were going to be on the Collider Live, would you tie up some electrical wires to my head and then put them next to my kneecap so I could see the moon? All right. How much am I getting paid for this? <laughs> Honest to God, I don't. Uh, would you be able to put Dobby on a plate for me so I can spin him with my two fingernails and then go upside down with a motorcycle attached to my back? Oh, okay. Dobby doesn't yeah, like this. Dobby's yeah. <laughs> don't, be don't be scared. Don't be scared. That's true. All right. Let's, uh, what let's... was better than him on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, nothing. 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 I would like to dance with you. Uh, I, I'm a cameraman. <laughs> I Sir, like to... you've got to go that way. Uh, where, where should I go? Can you direct me to the bathroom? <laughs> Sir, you're in it. You're so good at this that. Is, it's weird. I believe that this is the bathroom, even this, though they this call is it. The no, this is the woman's bathroom. Oh, please well, get out of it. They keep saying this is not the bathroom, uh, this is the dance floor, and I don't believe it. Toby doesn't like it when you poop in his mouth. <laughs> Toby, out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's get to the phone line. So oh Dobbs. God. Oh yeah, give away those. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's give away. We're gonna do so. Let we'll... me give some important information. Go the, ahead. And the do it. screening Rainbow. is going to be Wednesday, September eighteenth, next Wednesday, uh, and it's going to be at AMC Lincoln Square. That's awesome. nineteen ninety eight Broadway at sixty eighth Street. And I'm gonna be there. And you're gonna be there. <laughs> All right. I will not. No. And uh, will not I'll have there. more information, but I will give your name. So I have five pairs. Of tickets, so one person can call in. We're going to do some Rambo trivia, yeah. and then uh, you can bring a friend if you get these questions right. I how many hope. do you want? Uh, how many questions? How many do you want to give away? Uh, no, no, so five, five, que- uh, five give pairs away. of tickets. Well, the first so five... person that calls in and knows Rambo trivia will get one question. One then question. We're going to go to two. Uh, I hope Rambo yells in this movie. I thoroughly enjoy when he yells. My favorite yelling scene is in Rambo 4 when he's on the side of the mountain and he just tells the guy, he's very shit. He goes, oh, he's yeah. like, what? Very shit! That's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Very <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cactus ass. Cactus uh, idiot. Yeah, let us know, Cody, when the uh, people are calling in. Oh, and then look. And this is this is the same thing because we have 15 minutes. Guess what's going to happen? This is actually fun to do sometimes, even though it's a dick thing, but I'm just saying it as it is. Only people that can go to New York, because mm-hmm. if not, if he's like, I'm from Delaware, you're getting hung Hang up on. Yeah. Yeah, Unless so. they can say that. Unless you can say, I'm going to be in New York. Yeah, exactly. I'll be able to make it to New York. Or where are you? France. Get out of here. Can't be here tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> you should play that if someone says that they're from, you know, you know, can't they can't make it. All right. So, all right. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? It's Kevin from New York. All right. Yeah, so Kevin, there it is. Kevin from New York, I, I assume you're going to have an opportunity if you win these to go uh, party with Stallone and, and watch Rambo, yes? Yes. Okay. All right, Riley, go ahead. And All you're right. a big Rambo fan? Uh, yes. Whether I remember anything is another question. All right. But... All right, fine. All right. Well, one there's question. also one question. One question. Uh, okay. I'm going to make it fairly easy. Rambo First Blood Part 2 is directed by... Who? Stallone? That is incorrect. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. Yeah. Yeah. Can How I, do you spell can, Rambo? Can I guess? <laughs> can I guess for him? And if I get it right, he wins? Sure. Yes. James Cameron. That is incorrect. He did write it, though. He wrote it. He wrote it. Let me tear it. I will give you a hint. Okay? Yeah. This director also directed Tombstone. Ah, oh, shit. What's his name? Not... I know his son. I don't is know. Panos I mean, Cosmatos I can just go on Google Mandy. here. What? I know his son is Panos Cosmatos, who made Mandy. But Casar. It's not a minute. 
Cosmatos. She just said it. Cosmatos. Oh, it was Cosmatos. That was not an easy question. Yeah, it's Cosmatos. That, it, it, that was not I mean, I got the last Again, name, but dude, Kevin gets to go. Doesn't Kevin get to go? I, uh, let's give Kevin another one. Kevin, don't don't hang up yet. That was a stupid question. Kevin, hung how is that a stupid question when you can go to? It's Google. a five pointer. It's a five pointer. Guy's not googling. He's trying okay. to he's trying to win it legit. All right, let me see. Unbelievable, here. Kevin, isn't it? I think Kevin, you're still there. He's still there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's not an idiot. He's going to try to win these tickets. Yeah, listen. Uh, well, that's up for debate. All right, forget it. Listen, <laughs> there's there's somebody from Karate Kid that is in Rambo First Blood Part 2. In the original Karate Kid. Which actor or which fucking character from Karate Kid? I don't care. You can say whatever you want. And I'm giving you an option here. Who do you think, which character from Karate Kid is in Rambo First Blood Part 2? Good, you win the tickets. Yeah. Yay! All right, there you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right, do me a favor and hit me up on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? Uh, yeah, I do. All okay, right. great. Okay, Kevin, uh, we, we, we pulled some teeth there to get you in there, man. So go, good luck. And if, uh, if, you know, if, you, if you embarrass us, we don't know you. All right, what's that? <laughs> what, 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 what's, what's ready for the next one? I am. Yes. yes. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> You're like, where are we going with this? <laughs> okay. You might not know it, but I'm going to chew on you soon when no one's looking, because I like to chew on plastic. All right. What's, all right. Hey, you're on Collider Live. What do you think you know? Uh, you know, enough, hopefully. There he is. Oh, there he is. How do you get through the we line know, is what I want to know. know. Well, that was, he, did you hear about his Patreon, what he wants to do with his Patreon? It's, no. a, it's amazing. He wants to start a Patreon where Collider Live fans will join it, mm -hmm. and he'll he'll get them on the air. <laughs> it's, it's, it's That's perfect. It's brilliant. It's uh, so good. All right, Conor McGregor, here we go. So we're going <laughs> to um, we're gonna get you a question. Are you a big Rambo fan, Saul? Uh, yeah, I've seen them all, so uh, yes. Okay, good. All right, let's 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 get Solomon to uh, this thing. Give him a question. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a good question. What's Rambo's last name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's Rambo. There it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What in what year did First Blood come out? It's a good one. Uh, First Blood came out in 1982. Good boy. Wow. Oh. Well done. That's Saul also when I came Saul. out, for the record. Did you? Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Saul, you are going to New York. Uh, you will be taking pictures of Collider Live fans, I'm sure, while you are there. <laughs> the the other ones that, that accompany you to this wonderful community get to stolen. And you know what, Saul? This is actually a thing. After you go, it's good that you're actually going because now that you're going, you can call in and tell us about your experience. All right, that sounds good. I mean, uh, I'd probably call in. Uh, yeah, so no, that's, that's great. Um, th real quick, though, um, yeah. in a more practical sense, um, how do I reach out to, uh, how do I get the tickets? Cause You're just not on Twitter, are you? No, just do the same. Do, do the email that you send your 17-page uh, Star Wars thing to. There it is. All right, listen. It was. It was worth, <laughs> I think all those words were worth writing. It was a great idea. It was. It was brilliant. It was. But it, but it was, you know, like we got other things to do here, Saul. Come on. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. Thank you, Saul. All right, Saul. Saul. Saul gets the ticket. So we got Saul and was it a. Uh, Kevin. 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 So we have two. We have three Kevin. more. Okay, we have how many more? Three more? Three more. Good three more Lord, with their shit cracker to it. All right, let's go. Next, uh, next person calling in. We'll do what? I guess try to win. Yeah. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who are you? Oh, hello. It's Cody from Arizona. Cody from Arizona. Hello, Cody. Cody. Can Cody, you go to New York? You're going to be able to go to New York? Maybe he's just no, calling No, uh, I was going to go to Arizona, you know, the snow down this weekend. But I know. Ugh. I know. I'm sorry about yeah. that. But uh, once again, we were doing live stream. We are going to try to take it back to Arizona. And, and uh, yeah, just didn't work out this particular time. I apologize for that. Um, but unfortunately, also, you got to try to call back because we're going to just take in these co people who make it to New York. We've got to try to give away these Rambo tickets. So, yep. we'll, yeah, we'll see it. We'll mm -hmm. get you on the next one. Poor Cody. Can't catch a break. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I, thought, I also thought it was going to be, hi, this is Cody calling from the booth. <laughs> I would like to go to I'm the going Rambo to New York to yeah. escape my family. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do another. Can you, Even Cody, though I'm sleeping more than my wife. Cody, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cody gets so pissed off, though, when people call and they're not. He's like, come on, man. You just heard him say. Yeah. Only call in because now he's got to push the yeah button again. Mm -hmm. Cody, hold yeah. on. I'm trying to find a New York area code. Hold on. I okay. think we got one. All right. Let's see. Oh, don't let area codes fool you, though. I still have yeah, my Downers Grove, sure Illinois. Macaulay yeah. has, a nine, has a 917 area code. And yeah. he, it's like he's been out of New York for like 10 years. I know. All right, we got one. All right, thank you. Hey, you're in the Collider Live, or you should be. Well, who's this? Hey, it's Josh from Lake Worth. Uh, you're close enough to go to, to, go to uh, Rambo, yes? To Rambo? Um, 
I'm not sure. Uh, I've, I'm actually at work right now, so I haven't been listening. I just tried to call in. Oh. Uh, through. So how, where where are you exactly? Where are you located? Uh, of course. I'm going to the Orlando show. I'm going to make it out. For oh, you're Orlando. in Florida. Oh. oh, you're in Florida. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Oh, yeah. I'm in Florida. Like, all right. Well, Florida. unfortunately, and, I, and I, I'm sorry that you finally made it through. We are going to see you on the 19th. We have to hang up because we're, we're, doing, uh, we're doing New York calls right now. Mm-hmm. Because we're trying to give away, give away these East Coast trip I to just. New York for Rambo. But uh, we have um, we have a couple more calls coming. There's three more tickets. What we're going to have to do, Riley, if we don't get to it in time, mm-hmm. is that we will have to uh, maybe do some retweets. So maybe we'll do something where Could. you can, you can yeah. do a post from the Collider Live uh, channel and they retweet it. You pick a retweet. But right now, we're going to keep on trying. So only call in if you're on the East Coast area. From can You can make it to New York. When is that date again? It's Wednesday, September 18th. This upcoming this Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday. Look at that. September 18th. If you're a Rambo fan. Yeah, because I think what I'm going to do, if not, is maybe give, uh, maybe give either Saul or Kevin an extra pair and then they can take friends. But we're going we're gonna to have some faith. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, Greg Anthony. And where are you calling from, Greg? I'm calling from Jersey, and I love you guys. All right. Hey. I watch you guys every day. Dorena, uh, Christian, Alex, Cody. Cody, congratulations. Thanks, man. Um, huge fan. Big fan. You, Kate, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Kate, too, uh, obviously, obviously. Yeah, well, so, thanks. I've right, so watched you, you guys since 2014. Love oh, you. thanks, man. Right. So you're, you're in Jersey. You can make the Rambo if you... Uh, if, if oh, you absolutely. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. So, you're a big Rambo guy? Baby. Huge. All right, Huge. all right. Let's, let's let's give him let's give him a question. Okay. Uh, let me let me let me do this one. Do it. Who plays who plays Trout? Rambo. Yeah, who plays Rambo? <laughs> who plays who plays Troutman? Trout from uh, which Rambo? For, from from either one, two, or three. three. Uh, Trout 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 Yes. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. Good. Good job. Good job. Are you on Twitter? Um, yeah, I don't really use it, but uh, for this, yeah. I'll, yeah, okay. Just go out to Riley. That's all right, man. Don't be oh, nervous. No just go out, go out to Riley and shoot him a DM, uh, yeah. and then he'll shoot you over those tickets. You can hit me up. If you can't get my DMs, just at Riley around, and I'll find you. Yeah. Okay. And don't be, we're all nervous. Don't worry. Nervous. You got anything you want to say before we let you go? Um, your show is the best movie video show on the internet. Well, thank you. Well, heartbreak, You're the best. Heartbreaking yeah, news to you. Uh, starting tomorrow, it's just going to be about dolphins. <laughs> uh, the whole show starting from today to tomorrow. Specifically dolphin parts. Just dolphins. <laughs> just dolphins. Uh, thank and it's going to be run by me. And his it's going to be run by, right, right, yeah. about Kate. So uh, yeah, he's, like, he's like, no, no, I love you, Christina. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's, <laughs> let's move on. Thank you so much. Jersey in the house. And now we got three people supporting Collider Live going to the Rambo event. That's good stuff, Riley. Good stuff. Yeah, Let's I know. They're going to have fun. We still have some time. We still have we some have time. time. Some East Coast to, to, to join both. Who, who, what was that gentleman's name? You forgot? Greg? Greg. So we have Greg. Wasn't it Greg Anthony? Is that what he That's said? right. Yeah. We have Greg. We Kevin. Have Kevin. And Saul. And Saul hanging out. Let's get a lady to go watch Rainbow. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's yeah. see if we can do it. All right. Cody, let us know when you when you got Stand somebody. Stand by, looking at area codes here. I don't think All that's right. working, because last time you looked, you, we hit Florida. Well, I've got three out of four. That's true. All right. All right. That's true. He's got you there. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good ratio. Yeah, it's He's hard. really tired because good his wife through. didn't sleep, you guys. That's right. Hey, you're on Collider Live. What say you? Oh, my God. I made, I made it through. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Where, and, and, where, and where are you uh, calling from, my friend? Brooklyn, New York. Okay. There. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Christopher Federico. And by the way, sir, you're a Harloff major. Thank you, sir. So Harloff minor, Harloff major. Right. Fuck oh. them. <laughs> right. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, actually, I, 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 I actually know that there is a Harloff major out there. Claudia Gray has said it to me, but maybe she's telling me so I would stop calling her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably. So, thank you for that. Sense. Thank you for that. Uh, but let's, uh, you want to go see Rambo, right? Yes, sir. All right. You want to see Rambo? You want to hang out with Stallone and Saul? I mean, what, what's more exciting, hang out with Stallone or Saul? Hmm. It's a hard question. Yeah, I know. Who's, got the, who's got the more distinguished career, Saul or Stallone? Saul. <laughs> yeah. he's, been, he's, he's a regular yeah, caller on this show. Saul. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's let's get you a question here uh, from uh, from the Rambo franchise. Go ahead. Okay. Sylvester Stallone directed which movie in That's the franchise? One. That's a good one. You can give me the uh, number. Rambo Four. There nice. it is. Woo! Go. Well done. Right. Hit me up on Twitter. You on Twitter? Yes. Okay, right, so hit me up on Twitter. I'll get this. you those tickets. You can bring a friend. Four people 
Four four people have won tickets already. We're sending four people, and we still have five minutes to spare, ladies and gentlemen. We We're doing this. all five of these things. Five New York Collider Live fans and one or four and one jersey or three and one jersey. What the fuck do I know about math? Uh, and they're all going there. We got somebody. Hey, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, what's going on, Christian? It's Steven from New York. What's up, Steven? You yes, calling hello, from Steven. you calling from a wind tunnel? Uh, I'm actually from. You're from Bayside. I'm actually from Queens by. Uh, borderline Brooklyn. All right. Cypress Hill. No, yeah, absolutely. All right. uh, okay, good. All right, listen. So, you, you, how much you know about Rambo? You know a lot? I'm not going to lie to you, Christian. I'm a Stallone guy, not really much of a Rambo guy. But so, you're going to take a crack at this thing anyway? Guys. All right, you're gonna take a crack at this thing let's anyway. All right, so let's let's get yep. let, let's give them what they like to call in the business a softball. A softball. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, spell Rambo. And spell Rambo. <laughs> yeah, spell Rambo. How do you in say a, Rambo backwards? Yeah. In First Blood, Rambo is a vet from what war? I say it again. In, in First Blood. Yeah, First Blood, Rambo is, is a veteran from this war. What is the war? Uh, hmm. Is it A, the Civil War? B, the Galactic War? <laughs> C, the Vietnam War? Or D, Star Wars. The, the war <laughs> with, with me trying to get my children to sleep? Wait, not, not the Vietnam War. Repeat the first two. Is it A, Sorry. the Vietnam War, <laughs> B, the Vietnam War, C, the Vietnam War, or D, trying to get All eggs in, in a place that doesn't serve eggs? He's like, D. Let's, let's go with uh, A, B, and C, the Vietnam War. You got it. Hey, hey you're going, you you're got go, your you're ticket. You're going to see Rambo. You're going to see Rambo. Hey, All right, are you on Twitter? Thanks, I appreciate it. All right. Are yeah, you on Twitter, I don't have Twitter. I have Instagram. You have Instagram? Okay. All right, hit you, Riley. Can, you can fit, uh, yeah, hit me up on Instagram at Riley Around. Hit Riley up uh, for those tickets, and, and you'll be h hanging out with Saul and the crew to uh, go check it out. And, 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 and all you guys, everybody who won tickets today, uh, introduce yourselves to one another and represent the Collider Live crew. You got five people, and, and you know, we obviously have guests, so there'll be 10 people there. Talk about your Collider Live experiences. Tweet it out, please. Tweet it out or Instagram it in your case, sir. And, and take pictures with the Collider Live crew and talk about how you had a great time here. At the, Hopefully you have a great time. The, the movie is really good. I'm, ex I'm excited for it. And Can't wait. Enjoy yourself. All right. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed yourself because that's Friday, everybody. Thank you to Kate Mulligan. Yeah, yeah. Kate. Yeah. Joining us as always. Darina. Darina, the, the queen of yeah. death. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Marcus the, the Rileyist. Yes. Hey, Alex. Cody, get some fucking sleep. Myself, Christian Harloff, and uh, look, one more time. Get your tickets. Schmodownlive.com. Tomorrow night, big live stream. You got Bibiani versus Chance, the Wildberries versus Late to the Party. You can also get the tour shirt at the Schmodownlive.com. And don't forget about the big contest that we're doing October 19th in Florida. That is right, October 19th. Get yourselves out there. Anybody who gets a ticket eligible to get a free trip to Los Angeles and get a match in the Schmodown, theschmodownlive.com. Do it. Don't let the English see you do it. Give me impressions. <laughs>